Okay, hi guys. Today's video is something that I was gonna do with or without you, to be quite honest. But I decided to do it with you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, here we are. And oh my god, I'm like... I'm, for some reason, nervous. A little over three years ago, I did a psychic reading with the psychic twins. Hi, we're the psychic twins. I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. I posted the video on my channel, so some of you guys may have seen that. And then kind of just never watched it again. And now it's been three years. And I remembered this and I was thinking about it this week and I was like, holy shit, enough time has gone by where things that they have predicted for me could have happened or not happened by now. And I'm so curious if they got things right. So I'm gonna pull up my psychic reading from three years ago and we're gonna go through it and see how many things came true. A little disclaimer before we get into it though, this is not meant to be shade or anything if one of their predictions happens to have not come true for me. I don't know how like the psychic world works exactly, but who knows, maybe because I was given a psychic reading, knowing that information, I can use it to change the future so that it doesn't come true or vice versa. Maybe I'm like manifesting it into my life and then it definitely does come true. I don't really know, but I just wanted to throw it out there because I genuinely really like the psychic twins, but I am gonna be honest, like if something hasn't happened, I'm gonna say it hasn't happened. So let's pull up the video. Okay. AirPods activated. Ooh, this video is short. Okay, yikes. Hope I can make a whole video out of this. I wonder if the psychic twins are like having a psychic premonition right now as I'm filming this. They're like, somebody's about to expose us. I literally remember pulling up to their place and thinking to myself, oh my God, do they already know I'm here? Oh my God, can they like hear my fucking thoughts right now? I feel like the psychic twins are like in the corner of my fucking room. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Jen and today I'm here with this. All right, I gotta pause this already. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to find watch myself three years ago. Literally, who is she? I look chubby in the face. I'll say it. So today, I'm going to get my first ever psychic reading. I have never done this before. Oh! I wonder if they knew that. Like, was that a fake ooh? Because they already know I've never had a psychic reading. We always do a little bit of preliminary channeling if we can. We go and we ask questions of your spirit guide, and they usually tell us, they start writing, oh yeah, she's got an issue with perfectionism. Oh my god, it's so funny how they just skip over that because like my entire issue is perfectionism. That's like my Achilles heel. But you know, you you are going to have a very marked effect on this world, a very strong effect. You already do. <laughs> now there's a dog coming in and it's a very loving, special dog and it fe I'm getting I'm getting the, I keep writing an M, and I don't know if you had this oh dog, but Oh my god, this, this is so, so fucking so weird. weird. He's saying how much he loves you for all the care you gave him. Oh. Okay, I am gonna stop it here. Because Mickey was a girl, and they refer to her as a boy throughout this entire thing. I remember sitting there and like having one of those moments where you want to like speak out and correct someone, but like you also don't want to. So I just kind of let it slide. They kept calling her a him. A lot of people thought my dog was a boy based on the name, but whatever. I was breaking gender stereotypes since I was four. So fuck you guys. And he comes in almost like a doggy spirit, an angel. And I think he even sleeps next to you at night. I hope that doesn't freak you out, but his, <laughs> his energy really does come. You know, it's so, uh, but did you have an interesting wait, past life on you? They just talked over each other. I didn't even, I never even noticed that. They just like had a little bit of an awkward moment between them where they both really wanted to read something and so. Yeah, that was kind of awkward. England and mm -hmm. Ireland come in as yeah. places you want to go or will be going. Yeah. Well, I went to Ireland. And you know what's so weird about that too is I didn't even plan the trip. Holy shit. My best friend Jordan from high school asked me if I wanted to come meet him in Sweden and then go from Sweden to Norway with him. And originally that was just the plan, just Sweden and Norway. And then like the next day he was like, oh, I'm also going to Ireland if you want to come along for that too. And I was like, hell yeah! yeah! Good job, Psychic Twins. There's a really great guy coming within two years is what I'm getting by about 20, uh, 17, 18. I kept getting rich. That you may, that you may yeah. be with or you may meet. Richard. This is interesting. I did date someone. It's weird that they say Richard though. Cause like the only Richard I know is Ricky Dillon. Okay, so that's the end of my video. That was really f***ing short. YouTube was a different time in 2016. 
But luckily for us, they have a video on their channel, so let's just go over to that one and keep watching. Hi, we're the Psychic, Psychic Twins. Twins. I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. And we're here with Jen today. Hi, Hi Jen. Hi, guys. I just found out we're all from Pennsylvania, yeah. Philadelphia area. You are yeah. so adorable. I have to tell you. You are. Thank you. Beautiful girl. Thank adorable. You. And strong. You're stronger than you think you are. I think, as we were talking about anxiety and depression that you've mm -hmm. been struggling with, Expose me. I did not know that was in this video. <laughs> I did not know. I think that has a lot to do with the fact that you're so clairsentient. I feel like there's a, a friend around you. It feels like a male that isn't the most positive energy. Yeah, I can think of someone. <laughs> I just feel like you can continue as friends, but not mm -hmm. have as much connection and not as close. Yeah. You know, disconnect mm -hmm. a little bit, pull away. Get a little jealousy. You're going to grow apart. Whoa, that is so funny crazy that is so crazy that a hundred percent was true I did disconnect with this person and we aren't friends anymore and just like them using the word jealousy that had like a lot to do with it I'm really not trying to be shady or anything like I'm literally sitting here right now debating whether or not I even keep this in the video but I just gotta be honest that is weird how fun accurate that was you know I'm getting a really strong energy from your dad I get a really is he like a really neat guy that's sort of really supportive um no <laughs> I feel like you're going to have your best years ahead of you. In fact, I feel like next two or three years, there's creative projects coming in and, you know, even TV web, web opportunities. Yes, definitely. And I also feel like a zenith year for you will be 2020 or 2021. Mm -hmm. Feels like that's about mm -hmm. six years away, yep. five, six years away. Yep. Going to do very, very well. I see actual TV projects for I you. I do too. And Ooh. I see you getting into mm -hmm. producing as well for some yeah, production work. First of all, so excited to hear that 20 2020 and 2021 are my years, bitch. Anyway, interesting. Since this video, I did three more seasons of Foursome. I produced one of them and I shot a season of a Hulu show. So pretty accurate. I, I know that you really have a lot enjoy. of ideas and sometimes you have trouble sleeping and your mind is like so active that you're a little stuck in this mm. chakra and your crown chakra mm. feels a little stuck sometimes. with Overanalyzing. Yeah. 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 Thinking too much, giving too much energy to things that don't really matter. Try to meditate and breathe. That'll help you bring that energy down from your mind. There may be like a fender bender that I'm seeing for you. I, I just have to be it's honest strange. or else it sticks to me. So. Yeah, that feels like like within the next couple of years, it does Not feel sure relatively fault. minor. That f***ing happened! I got in a fender bender in Hawaii while I was renting a car. Oh God, like the last thing you want to happen when you rent a car. I yeah. feel like I want to warn you because I'm seeing somebody in your environment that has a drinking issue and uh, you're yeah. sensitive again. So, I'm concerned uh, about her. That's, that's a danger for you if you get around yeah. her energy too much. Yeah. So I'm feeling yeah. like alcohol problem. Whoa, alcohol problem, alcohol problem, alcohol problem. I don't think there is anyone in my life with an alcohol problem. I'm like 95% sure I don't have anyone in my life with an alcohol problem. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Thanks Jen. We've had so knows. much fun. But All right, well, that's it. They literally predicted like mostly everything correct. I'm like, <laughs> I'm speechless. Wow, that is so crazy. I wonder if they like can feel that I'm fucking wigging out over them right now. I don't even know what to say. I have no idea what to say. Except for this video is over. So I hope you liked it. I hope it made you laugh. I hope you are also mind blown. And if you are, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also go support the Psychic Twins. Go subscribe to them. They kind of just collapsed with me again and don't even know it. Or do they because they're psychic but yeah i think that's pretty much it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you all next saturday with another new video bye